no earthy idea what I'm doing. Oops. <laughs> Got him. I don't get it guys. It's as good as it's gonna get because I don't I don't know what I'm doing. I'll show you, come here. What's up guys? Welcome back to Smitty's, the truck and travel channel. As you can see from the title, I got myself an awning and believe it or not, I've had this awning for about two years. Yes, that's right, two years. It's been in the box. I didn't really feel like I needed it at the time. And in my mind, I was like, I'm only gonna use it like three or four times a year, if maybe. The main times I'd be using it is when it's raining. So I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it where it's at. But here it is. It's the Iron Man six by eight. It goes onto the uh, Prince of Roof Rack. All right, so this is everything that you get with the awning minus this. So it comes in a nice little stuff sack. It has some nylon rope so you can mount it to the ground. So if it's windy, uh, your awning ain't gonna go flying. Comes with a wrench, comes with all the hardware, and it actually comes with mounting, mounting plates. You don't actually have to buy them, but I really don't like these, so I bought my own. And these are the stakes that stick the, the rope to the ground so it doesn't go flying. And then I went ahead and bought some low profile because it's a much cleaner look. It's more heavy duty. Because look at this. That's, that's beautiful. These are nice, but which one would you rather have? And then, of course, it comes with the actual awning. I'm not going to open it up right now. I'm going to go ahead and mount the mounts, then I'll open up the case. Let's get to it. All right, so now that we're on the roof, I'm going to show you with uh, the ones that actually came included with the kit. It actually sits like that. And then you have the, your second one way down there, but I'm gonna show you down here, for example, your awning will sit like that with these. With the low profile kit like these, it sits around the mounting bar like that. It looks more pleasing to the eye. It's more heavy duty. These, yes, they are really thick metal, but I just wanted to go with the added security to make it a little bit more difficult if somebody wanted to steal these. And the bolts that it came with the awning actually only work with the awning kit that they gave you. So keep that in mind. The new kit, if you go with the new kit like I did, it comes with its own hardware like this. Make sure you use the right hardware with the right kit. All right, so now that you've seen how it mounts on your roof rack, come back down to the ground or somewhere where you have a little work area come to your awning flip it over and you'll see this channel on the back it's a lot easier to do this on the ground than trying to install the brackets on the roof rack and then hold up the, the awning while you're trying to bolt it it's, it's, it's a hassle so you will need the supplied hardware that came with the kit with the awning kit I'm gonna go ahead and open that up it comes with bolts 10 millimeter and then locking nuts what you're going to do is you're going to grab one of, you're going to grab one of each and then go ahead and slide it down the channel it literally just slides through the channel i'm going to put one on the top grab another bolt it's going to slide into this channel just like that and then slide it down to about midway just like that. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna mount this just like that. As you can see, the two bolts sit right in here. Grab yourself some washers. And then put your nut on. And how they design this is you don't have to hold the other side. All you have to do is Tighten this down right here. And then grab yourself another nut. Just like that. If you got an extension, grab yourself an extension with a ratchet. 
and then a 10 millimeter it doesn't have to be all deep well like this but i like deep wells makes everything simpler and then go ahead and tighten it down don't gorilla tight just tighten it so it's snug so you can still move it down the channel where you want it so tighten it too much it ain't moving oops it's just like that this is where it grabs and it doesn't hold too tight and then go ahead and do the other one the way i do it as soon as it stops itself so spin 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 stops and then back it off half a turn and that's all the snug you need kind of position them where you think you might need them i'm gonna get, leave myself a little over here and then a little over there and then go ahead and take it over to your rack all right so now that you have this on the roof and it's all kind of halfway sitting up here you'll have to go ahead and grab yourself uh the t-slotted nuts you see how there's a square right by the head of the bolt right there grab yourself a washer grab yourself four of those because one two three four it's four per bracket what you're going to do you're going to pick this up move it out the way just remember which rung you wanted to put it on grab yourself a ratchet and a t27 and remove the outside, so there's two bolts per slat. So remove one, then remove another one. With these aluminum slats, you see there's a bar on the side and there's two on the top and there's one on this side. Grab yourself one of these T-slotted bolts, slide it through the side with the washer up there. Then grab yourself another one. It literally just slides in there's it's not rocket science just like that put two on this side and two on this side and if you want you got to leave the washer on right now just already pre-prepped it put the two and then put the two bolts on the outside there's a spider and then put these bolts back in to hold it in place you can go ahead and tighten that down you ain't got to keep it loose Again, don't gorilla. It's, these are aluminum bars. The threads will strip on you or stretch, which is the same as stripping. When you're done, this is what it'll look like. These bolts can't get out. And then go ahead and do the other side. All right, so after you have these four in position with these tightened down, the same with this side. What I do is, it's kind of hard to film this, but I take this end channel right here on the awning and I line it up with the edge here. So I'm trying to line it just like that because I want the end of my awning to be at this bar. And then find this mount and align it perfectly with this roof bar. And then go ahead and tighten that up. Then you're going to do the same thing with this side. Slide it down so it's perfect with that bar. And then go ahead and tighten up those two. And then tighten up those two. And then you should be ready to swing it onto the bar. All right, after you tighten up these bolts, again, don't, don't go Gorilla on it because these are aluminum and that bolt will shoot right out of there. You can go ahead and test fit it too, just to see if it's in line. As you can see, it lines up very, very nicely. The next thing you wanna do is move this out of the way. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Go ahead and grab your bolts. Slide the bolt, the first bolt, all the way towards the railing. Same with this side. And then have this one kind of like right there. So it'll leave a good gap right there. Just like that. Come to the other one, do the same thing. Let me open up the door, climb on over. So move this one near the rails. Move this one towards the rails. 
You don't need the washers on at this time. And then kind of leave those right there. After you get those spaced out appropriately, grab, go ahead and grab your awning. Swing it back on. Like such. And in here, you're gonna slide this bolt, slide that bolt forward just like that. Same with this other side, forward, and then move this front one right into the groove, like that. And then same with this other side. So put your four washers back on it. And then grab yourself a bolt, I mean a nut, and I forgot, in a sec. And once you got your nuts, go ahead and slide it up there. Screw it up there, not slide. Just hand tighten them right now. These are locking, so you can only go so far because there's a little rubber ring in there. Grab your 10 millimeter again. Make sure it's on tighten. Wrong. You grab yourself a 12 millimeter, I'm sorry. Make sure it's on tighten. Go ahead and tighten these down. And I give it a good little, uh. Again, these are aluminum. So be careful how much you tighten these. That's your first one. It ain't going nowhere. Now go ahead and do the front one and then you will be done. Once you got it all snugged up, go ahead and give it one little final tighten. If you didn't align this just right, there's a little bit of room so you can move these a little bit left and right. Don't feel like you gotta take it all apart because you didn't get these right the first time. And that's what it looks like all, all close and tight to the vehicle. I'm gonna put all these tools away and then I'll show you how it functions. All right, so I'm gonna be 110% honest with you guys. I've never set this up. I'll show you how long it takes to put up. My first impressions, which my first impression is I don't like their logo, Iron Man 4x4. <clears throat> I wish there was a way to remove that. Nothing against Iron Man, they make good products, um, but it's so big and cumbersome. It's like, we got it, you wanna sell products, but come on. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and unzip it and see what happens. I bought this one with actually, uh, has a light bar inside of it. I bought it for like $99. It was incredibly cheap. I really, <laughs> you really can't beat it. That's why I bought it. And then I was like, I don't really want to put it up, but yeah. Sorry, you had a friend. good as it's gonna get because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. There it is in all of its glory. It's not going anywhere. You can mount this on either side. It doesn't matter. Um, you can mount it more towards the front, more towards the back, wherever you want to put it if there's a crossbar yeah i really like it i just don't like this logo hope you found this video entertaining if you hit that like you did and consider subscribing and become a part of our squad 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 and i'll catch you on the next one ah.